A key pair. You've got the public key and the private key. The public key is used to receive tokens and the private key is used to sign transactions. Together, they make up the key pair. You already knew this and you've probably seen a bunch of these words like mnemonic or secret phrase or byte array or base 58 something. These are all just different formats of storing the private key. So they're used to represent the data in the private key in various formats. Base 58 and hexadecimal, for instance, are just a long string of letters and numbers that are used to represent the private key. The byte array is a byte array. Uh, it's a big array of bytes, literal bytes that are used to, again, represent the private key. The secret phrase, the seed phrase, and the mnemonic, these are all the same things and they're often used interchangeably. This is a set of 12, 18, or 24 words. These are human readable words that you can remember and they're used to generate the private key. So th this is all what I like to call key material. That's it, that's all they are. I'm gonna show you how you can generate key pairs in each of these formats in JavaScript and then how you can load them in JavaScript. Before I get into that, I wanna talk about something called a derivation path. So a derivation path is used with seed phrases to generate different key pairs. It looks something like this. Um, this is slightly advanced and you don't need to understand it, you don't need to know it, but just mentioning it because it might help. So the seed in the seed for your phrase comes from the fact that you can generate different private keys using one seed phrase. So if you have one set of 12 words, you can use that to generate dozens of key pairs. How does that work? Well, just like a tree, that's where you get the seed from, uh, you've got different paths that you can go down to generate different key pairs. So this would be one key pair or one private key, and this would be another private key. So if, you, if I went down M1 and then M10, blah, 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 blah. This is a screenshot from the Phantom Wallet where you're loading in a seed phrase and it's noticed, hey, you have active wallets on multiple derivation paths. Please select a path you want to use. And you've got, you know, a bunch of different paths available. So that's all it is. It's just how you generate different secret phrases or different key pairs from one secret phrase. A backpack, the wallet lets you set your own derivation path. So if you do want to need, if you do need to do that for development purposes, you can do that. Generally, this is not going to be exposed to you as a user or as a developer. You're rarely if ever going to need to do this, but yeah, just mentioning it so you know how to. Cool. Let's jump into the code. First, we got a bunch of imports, starting with key pair. This is just from the Solana Web 3.js library to actually manage and display the key pairs that we generate. Then we've got BIP39. So this is the Bitcoin Improvement Proposal 39. This is when the keep when the seed phrase standard was first introduced. All ecosystems, Solana, Bitcoin, Ethereum, they all use the same standard because it's pretty good. It works really well. It's supported by all different wallets. So this is what we'll be using to actually generate the seed phrase and work with it. BS58, this is base58 format. This is a library to encode text into base58. FS, this is just the file system library to save our generated key pairs. Cool, let's start. First thing we do is we generate a mnemonic. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go down the path. So I'm gonna go first, let's generate a mnemonic or a secret phrase. Then we're gonna turn that into a byte array or we won't really, we won't really need to turn that into a byte array. This is the default format. So we're gonna go secret, secret phrase. Then we're gonna go byte array. Then we're gonna turn that into base 58, then hexadecimal. So first we've got the uh, base, sorry, the BIP39 seed phrase. We're gonna print that out. Then we're gonna turn that into a key pair. So, so the first 32 bytes of the seed are gonna be used to generate a key pair. So this is from the Solana Web 3.js library. We're just doing key pair dot from seed. So this is how we're taking the actual generated seed phrase and turning it into a key pair that we can use in code. Next, we're just gonna print it out. Um, key pair dot secret key, and that is going to be the uint8 array. So uint8, this is the uh, byte array that I mentioned. So the format of the byte array is uint8. So it's going to be a uint8 array and it's going to be printed out. Then we're going to con convert that into BS, uh, base58. Uh, this is very simple. We're just going to use the bs58.encode library. We're going to pass in the secret key generated uh, from the seed phrase. Easy peasy. Log it out. Finally, uh, we've got the base, the hex. Similar to the base58, it requires a bit of uh, manual work. I'm going to stop jumping around. Yeah, so the base, uh, the hex key, there's a specific format to this. We're gonna byte this, uh, we're gonna map this from bytes. And this exact format, this is just how, how you uh, create hexadecimal strings. And that's gonna be turned into a hexadecimal string. We're then just gonna save it. Let's run this. All you gotta do is do npm run generate. I've got a script here in package.json. So I've got the script loaded. You can also just type node generator.js, that works too. But I'm gonna be a bit fancier and use the script, haha. And what do we get? Uh, all right, let's 
easily run through this. First thing is a big enter. You can ignore this. This is fine. Then first thing we've got is the mnemonic. Race, harbor, sphere, van, covered. Cool. Then we turn that into a array or byte array. So this is what the byte array looks like. Then we've got the private key in base 58 format. And then again, in hexadecimal format. Dead simple. Easy as that, we're done. Now let's talk about actually loading these. So for loading, we're going to need a bunch of the same stuff. Uh, I've got a few extra things like connection and cl uh, cluster. So this is just so we can display the balance of the key pair. Ignore this. BIP39, just like we needed it to generate the key pair, we're also going to need it to use uh, use it to load the key pair. Base50 and not ENV, same stuff uh, for we used it to encode, we're going to use it to decode. And .env is just to load it from an env file. And the actual process for this is pretty straightforward. So we just go process.env for every single one of these. We do process.env, so we load it from the env file. And then there's a specific format, so a mnemonic to seed sync. So we've got the mnemonic, and we're going to turn it into a seed. And then we can log the key pair from the seed. So in this instance, I'm using every single key pair or every single env value to actually load it in. I'm not going to go over this. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, code is here. You're probably here for the code, not for me explaining it. There's not much to explain here anyway. And that's really it. Finally, we're going to compare these, uh, make sure they're all the same. Since they were all generated from the same thing, they should all be the same. The only way this would fail is uh, if there was an error during the donation or there was a, you know, you manually put something in, it didn't work. And that's it. And then we uh, load up our devnet and we send it in. I'm going to reset our ENV. So if I do, uh, let me just reset this, restore. And then if I do uh, npm run load, this is going to load all the key pairs or all of the enemies. There you go. We've got 1,000. Nice, no, it's going. It's one soul on the devnet. Uh, this env file is committed, so it's on GitHub, and you can check it out. The rest of the code is also on GitHub, including this explainer. Uh, very nice, very fancy. Yeah, if you got any questions, put them in the chat. If you want more explanations like this, let me know. Good luck.